episode of Picnic at the Opera for this season. We have almost made it through the third season already. It's almost over. We've had such a good time. I'm Miriam Pico, along with WTCM's Jamie Kramer. Hola, everyone. And our wonderful pianist, David Chow. Let me step out of the way for Mr. Chow. <laughs> We want to thank everyone who has come out to the City Opera House and those of you watching on Up North TV Channel 189. We have an amazing lineup for you today on we, our final episode. We do. We have Kevin Reeves, who will be joining us later on. We also have White Tiger Martial Arts performing. We've got some foodie poetry from Anne Marie Oman. Hope you brought your lunch. Always makes me hungry. And on the second half, oil painter Sherry McNamara. Woo! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> and singing quartet, Sachet. I am going to step out of the way and let Miss Miriam and Mr. David Chown entertain you. Enjoy.
Thank you so much. Well, joining me today, we have two very special people up here. <laughs> down, down here first we have, uh, what's his name again, Kevin? Anson. He's such a good boy, isn't he? You are such a good boy. But he is following the one and only Kevin Reeves. Thank you. So Kevin, I have a question. I'm going to put you on the spot. Go for it. Do you remember the first time we ever collaborated together? Yeah, we were, uh, it was for that, um, it was for that Catholic school um, Christmas program thing. Yes, that's right. And I was like 10 years old. And I remember thinking he was just this rock star and, and I just loved Kevin Reeves. So now it's a really big honor to have him on my show all these years later. And uh, will you tell everyone just a little bit about yourself, where you're from, where you're living right now? Yeah, uh, actually, I'm, I'm from here. Um, and uh, I, I live in Kalamazoo right now. I'm working for a, a country, um, working for a country artist down there. And um, just, you know, I've been involved in all the Traverse City music programs and, and everything since uh, probably since high school. Uh, early, you know, early high school. So, uh, if, if, you know, support the local TCAPS music uh, program. They're great. Yes. And uh, they give a lot of kids opportunities that uh, other schools don't get. And I got a lot of great opportunities to try some things out and, and figure out what it is that I like to do, which ended up kind of, you know, molding the career that I have. So. Nice. Well, if people want to learn a little bit more about you or hear your music or buy your CDs, where can they go? KevinReeves.net is where you can go. You can stream everything and before you buy. It's all try before you buy. Nice. <laughs> and, uh, and, and there's there's tons of stuff up there. Uh, my solo albums, my hard rock and heavy metal side projects, and any other things I get involved in are all up there. So. All right. Well, he's going to do a song. Will you please tell everybody what it is? And guys, please welcome Kevin Reeves. <laughs> Yeah, this is a tune off my new EP called Remember the Leftovers. This is a song called Find a Way. Here I am alone again, trying to define the unrest and anxiety that's rolling through my mind. And I know I can't say anymore Everything I've counted on was never a safe bet Now I feel I'm drowning on this ocean of regret And I know I can't break anymore I would find a way to live and make it all work out. Surely I would find a way hey, hey, hey. when I was younger all I needed to survive was a faith and hunger just to keep the dream alive and I know I can't waste it away Here I am alone again The time is passing by This is what it feels like when the spirit starts to die and I know I can hasten the day. Surely I would find a way to live, make it all work out. Surely I would find a Way. Hey, yeah. 
And I pray that I would fight it out another day. Even though my will is gone and passed away, I feel like I've been lonely for so long. And I try to face down all my demons I'd eye. Even though I fear that I might die, the struggle deep inside of me goes on. Surely I would find a way to live and make it all work out. Surely I would find a way. Thank you very much. Kevin Reeves. Isn't he wonderful? I love his voice so much. Coming up, we have Anne Marie Oman, who's going to wet your whistle with poetry about water. Plus, martial artists from White Tiger will be here to show us their Shaolin Kung Fu. You are watching Picnic at the Opera on Up North TV, channel 189. <laughs> Hi, I'm Anne-Marie Oman, writer, teacher, and author of the forthcoming book, 
you can probably say it by now, Love, Sex, and 4-H, which will be launched here in Traverse City on April 18th at the newly restored Historic Barns, 5 o'clock. It's open to the public. I'd love to have you join me. Today, you'll hear poems that I created just for Picnic at the Opera. I'm writing these around a theme of food or meals that changed my life, and I invite you to participate by, ask, uh, by um, thinking about food or meals that have changed your lives. So for this final segment, here's a poem about the opposite season called Greens. Greens. As a girl in my mother's gardens, I saw them wave, green on green hands, in blue air, palming the sun. I was too young for such beauty, didn't like the taste, didn't like abundance. But on a cloud-streaked dawn, just after my grandfather died, and I was trying to understand, I ate collards raw. There was light everywhere. And then, as autumn goes, a sudden rain. Broad leaves rinsed clean, up-cupped, full tiny ponds on cool mornings, still as a moment poised. The last hummingbird thrummed in, splashed onto the wide leaf, rested in cool, then lifted back to air. Green on green, there, then gone. What could I do? I was a child without thought, having witnessed what? I leaned to the green and bit the leavings, that wet disturbance on my tongue, that living and bitter joy. You always wow me, Anne-Marie. Thank you so much. Anne-Marie Uman, everyone. All right, so we're going to switch gears a little. Right now, I am with Mr. Jim Adkins from White Tiger Martial Arts. Thank you so much for being here, Jim. Yeah. How cool is that? How cool is that? I haven't seen you in a couple of years now. It's been a couple of years. Lots of change for you, I hear. And changes for you as well. Now, um, Okay, so I have to look it up because it says Grand Master Sifu. That's it. How do, what is that? It's my title. <laughs> good, good, good call. Uh, what does it take to be a Grand Master Sifu? Uh, Sifu just means black belt instructor or head of household. I've been Sifu since I was 16, so that'll never change. Uh, Grand Master <laughs> is kind of a pompous title. I mean, I never thought I would ever take the title master. It's just not who I am. But you become grandmaster when you take on the system of martial arts for yourself. It becomes internalized, and then it really becomes your system, and you start changing and adapting things the way you want them. And it be it's so I'm grandmaster Sifu, and I get to hang out with these cool people all day long. Well, very cool, and also a a monk as well, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I'm a Shaolin disciple monk. Uh, I was designated that in China from the the abbot of the temple of Shaolin in Hunan province. So. Amazing, amazing stuff, Jim. Um, so at White Tiger, Ted, I'm going to get this. White Tiger Martial Arts. Um, what kind of uh, things do you have going on there? Different types of courses and things. Yeah, so White Tiger Martial Arts, you don't have to be any specific age to start. We've got people as young as four and people as old as 70. Uh, we do Kempo, American Kempo, which is what you're going to see tonight. Uh, Shaolin Kung Fu, we do Tai Chi, we do a little Chin Na, and uh, there's some secret classes going on that we don't talk about. Yeah, the, um, i, I got to go to the secret class part here. Um, ninja? How do you, Ninja? Is the secret class. Ninja Su? Just Su? I can't tell you. When is it? I can't tell you. Are they here now? I can't tell you. We do have ninja classes at the... <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it is, it's kind of a secret class. You have to be invited, so... Cool beans. Well, I'm going to step out of the way, and you guys have a presentation you're going to give. We do. Yeah, what you're going to see is some Kempo, which comes from the Shaolin Temple. We do this here in Traverse City. And uh, we ho don't try this at home. <laughs> We're professionals, and it's... I don't know if you like violence, but... Uh... I love it. <laughs> All right, enjoy White Tiger Martial Arts. Thank you. Thank you.
together. One. Together. One. Two. Three. All right. It's one of the favorite jobs of mine is I get to jump up here and sing with the musical guest now. So, Kevin, the next song that we're going to do mm -hmm. is called Euphoria. Will you tell us a little bit about it? Yes. Uh, <clears throat> this is a tune off of, the, uh, off of my previous album entitled uh, Remember to Forget. And... Uh, I actually have copies available for sale here. Shameless plug. If you want one, let me know. And uh, this tune, um, I was sitting in Nashville and watching the, it was the making of Goodbye Yellow Brick Road. And I was kind of like uh, feeling a little despondent about my career and about what I'm doing and uh, what's going on and where am I supposed to go and do. And uh, this kind of uh, came out of that. So shall we? All right, we shall. Take it away.
not waiting on the world to change. I'm just waiting on a way to change the world. You know it may seem kind of strange, but it's just the way my life has been unfurled. And if I really gotta go it alone, I guess it's just the way it's gotta be. And if I gotta walk my day so unknown, I guess it's just a lot in life for me. Yeah, I'm waiting for euphoria. Cause I see the world that I've been living in. Yeah, I'm waiting for euphoria. And I'm walking on the edge of giving in. I had some time to sit and think. But I ain't come to no conclusion yet So maybe I'll sit here and drink Sometimes I should remember to forget Cause no matter how hard I try I can't seem to kill the way I feel No matter how hard I cry The tears won't walk away but seems free Yeah, I'm waiting for euphoria Cause I see world that I've been living in. Yeah, I'm waiting for euphoria. And I'm walking on the edge of giving in. I'm lost sight of what is real. Like a cog in a spinning wheel There's something so hard to explain Like being caught in the pouring rain Yeah, I'm waiting for euphoria Cause I see the world that I Kevin Reeves. Amazing. All right, now we are going to go to a segment that I always look forward to. And uh, right next to me right now, I have a very talented woman, Sherry McNamara, oil painter, Traverse City local. Welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you. 
Yes, let's do more of that, ladies and gentlemen. Because this is not easy. <laughs> so Sherry, you are an oil painter and um, you have done several paintings which you brought with you today. Um, you kind of work with a, a unique style. Um, could you explain that? Um, I do plein air painting quite a bit, which means we paint outside and with the movement of the sun taking place constantly while you're outside, we have to complete a painting within about two hours to really capture the light like the Impressionist painters did of the late 1800s. Name a few, because everyone will be like, oh yeah, oh yeah, because that's what I did when we were backstage. <laughs> Monet, Degas, Pissarro, they were all Impressionist painters. So you have to complete a painting like these, one of these in two hours. These happen to be mostly studio paintings. An uh, outdoor painting quite often would be considerably smaller because you have so much canvas to cover. That's incredible. And how long have you been oil painting? I've been painting since I was a young teenager. My mother took me to a studio in Detroit and I didn't want to go. I was probably obnoxious. And as soon as I walked in there and smelled the oil paint, I knew I was in the right place. It was the smell? It was the smell of oil paint. I just loved it. I loved it. I love gasoline, but I'm not a gasoline attendant. But that's interesting. That's really interesting. And so how has it evolved over time? Uh, well, I painted quite a lot when I was younger. Then I had children, took a break, and I came back and met a wonderful group that was here locally. We started to grow it, and uh, we paint every week together, and we paint all the time. And what's the name of your group? We have the Magic Thursday Artists, we have the Plein Air Painters of Northwest Michigan, and we have Studio 1-6, so we have a big group, lots of different people. Lots of different people, and lots of talented people, no doubt. And um, you have a few um, shows actually coming up right here in the City Opera House. Could we'll you tell be, people about that? We'll be here in July and August for the Magic Thir Thursday Artists. We were here last year. And in November and December, we'll be here again with the Plein Air Painters of Northwest Michigan. We'll be having small pieces of work for uh, hopefully people who want to buy Christmas gifts. Beautiful. Well, and I would happy, I mean, if you want me to take one of these, you would have to twist my arm, but I could see one in my living room, I'm just saying. This one, this one here of the farm scene was done for the uh, Sleeping Bear Dunes art, which was shown at the Denos and is in the book, The Art of the Sleeping Bear Dunes. Well, they're all very gorgeous. And if people would like to join your group, because you're always looking for new members. Anybody's welcome. We'll take anybody who's interested in painting. And where can they find you? On Facebook, perhaps? I have a Facebook page. It's Sherry McNamara Fine Arts on Facebook. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Sherry. I appreciate you sharing all of your work with us. It will also, if you're interested in coming and seeing uh, Sherry's work, it will be here at the City Opera House hanging up until the end of February. Correct. All right. Thank you so much, Sherry. Ladies and gentlemen, give Sherry McNamara a round of applause. What a talent. Thank you so much, Sherry. Now, Sherry would not be here if it weren't for the great talent of the Watershed Center of Grand Traverse Bay. And right now I have with me Kristen Chrisman. Kristen Chrisman, right? Close enough. Christine. Christine, I'm sorry. Did I say Kristen? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, we'll get it right eventually. Um, who is, you work for the Watershed Center, right? Yes, I'm the executive director there. Excellent. Um, how did you, well, let's, let's start with the uh, Watershed Center of Grand Traverse Bay. What is it, for those of us who don't know, that you guys do? So we advocate for clean water in Grand Traverse Bay. So we work really hard to protect its entire watershed, which covers about four counties. We have a very small staff and a very big charge, uh, but we really enjoy what we do. Absolutely. And so how does that lead to art? And how is it that we've gotten so many great artists throughout the entire picnic, by the way? Let's just give the Grand Traverse uh, Watershed Center a big round of applause for that, because every week they've come through. Every week. How is it that you, you have gotten into the art world? 
Well, enjoying the watershed and, and being able to actually make that connection to folks that wouldn't normally, wouldn't normally connect with, about six years ago we started an Art of the Watershed program. And basically that brings painters and photographers and sculptors and jewelry makers. We bring them into our office and we have a little event and it has, as long as it has something to do with the watershed, um, it really connects people on a different level. So we've been doing that for about six years and made some great connections and been able to meet people that we wouldn't otherwise have met. Absolutely. And you guys have a big show coming up, right? We do. We have an event on May 21st. Uh, it's going to be Ken Scott and Kay Crapel. They're going to be doing some photography and some paintings and things that they did when they walked around the shoreline of Leelanau County. Wonderful. Uh, everyone, the Grand Travers, do, do it for me. It's the Watershed Center, Grand Travers Bay. I keep messing it up. Uh, if you would like to uh, learn more about the Grand Travers, well, I can do it again. The Watershed Center, <laughs> Grand Travers Bay. Where can they find you? We're on the web at gtbay.org. Beautiful. gtbay.org. Thank you so very much, Christine. Just ahead, you don't want to miss these next songs that I get to do with Kevin Reeves. I'm so excited. Also, we have a vocal quartet that will have you dancing in the moonlight. You are watching Picnic at the Opera on Up North TV, channel 189. Don't go anywhere. I left my home in New York City and traveled down to New Orleans. Tonight we're going to explore the question, do we get the leaders we deserve? Is film influencing our culture or is it the other way around? What is it about humankind's fascination with the cosmos? It's the boundaries of personal freedom. In democratic societies like ours, you have to get people to do uh, what you want them to do, but they have to feel like they're doing it because they chose to do so. Welcome to Women of an Uncertain Age. Nancy, what are we making today? Especially as you age to love your aging self. Because you don't see that in, in the cover of magazines or in all the glamorous ads. So I do not suffer from writer's block. Just keep <laughs> repeating it, it will happen. Memory, hello in the moonlight. She never wants to have a big party, she wants to have a party for one, which is when she like takes off her bra, gets her library book, pours some Inglenook over ice. And it really is like inviting people into your home. <laughs> I mean, Fanny and Lewis lived with my husband and me for five years. Go out there and buy some books. I'm Anne Marie, and I just want to mention that it's been such a pleasure to be part of the picnic for these um, six picnics at the opera. And I'd like to thank the team and all the volunteers um, who make this possible. And in light of the watershed work, this is a poem of appreciation both to the people who make this possible and to our beloved water. It begins with an epigraph. There is all around us this country of original fire. Mary Oliver. The poet was speaking of the ocean, but it could have been the lakes, the way they capture the evening light, the way that water held in the bowl of earth offers every flame we need. Original fire, not sin, redemption. Here is me in the fields, raising the water jug. Here is my father damming the creek for fish. 
Here are my brothers sucking icicles. Here is me wandering the swamp in fog. Here are my sisters in the plastic pool. Here is my mother sharing the cool glass at the end of day with my father. Water as rain, as ice, as snow, as fog, sleet, river, creek, spring. All of it held, even in my own hands, as I raise it to my mouth, this fire, sucking in this great chameleon, liquid something that shapes itself as cool flame in the mouth, almost as though thirst is true desire, and this fluid disguise the deepest kiss. Here, drink it, this gift, this great masquerader, this clarity. Awesome. Uh, so this next tune is also off my um, Remember to Forget album, which I, again, have CDs available. End of shameless plug. <laughs> And this is one of those songs about uh, trying to find um, the reality in uh, trying to find all the things that are real in this kind of superficial culture that we live in of, you know, live like the Kardashians, uh, stomp everybody on the way to the top, uh, go ahead and, you know, get rid of all your, your, your uh, merit and, and, you know, morals on the way to achieving success and I've always believed there's more to that and it's the idea of trying to unplug from that matrix and figure out exactly what is real so this is called if it's real we trade all innocence for a flurry of ignorance for a happiness that cannot be defined we Tranquilize our brains, anesthetize what still remains in a squandry of the riches of the mind. What I really want to know is why we believed so long ago the lie that all we gotta do is tell the lie. We can be anything we wanted and our lives would be fine If it's real, if it's real, if it's real I wanna know If it's real, if it's real, if it's real, if it's real I wanna ourselves for a high cost pursuit of wealth and a misplaced belief that we can fly then we fall to the ground without a soul left to be found devoured in a shark infested sky but if we really want to grow inside We've got to let our souls collide And relinquish all control of mine Of mind If it's real If it's real If it's real I want to know If it's
if you really want to go inside. And we got to let our souls collide and relinquish all control of mind, of mind. If it's real, if it's real, if it's real, I want to know. If it's real, if it's real, if it's real, I want to know. We've got to find it, cause we've all been blinded. If it's real, I want to know. We live in a matrix where everyone makes it. If it's real, I want to know. The whole joke's much clearer. It's all smoke and mirrors. If it's real, I want to know. Thank you very much. Kevin Reeves. Kevin Reeves, everybody. Wow. All right. Jamie, who do you have over there? Oh, my goodness. I just, <laughs> I just made new friends backstage. We're just, we're just hanging out. Um, this is the Sashay Quartet. Ladies, say hello. 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 And hello. Oh, they're so cute. Uh, I have with me Deb Densmore, Cam Lacey, Marie Colt Vet, <laughs> and Jill Watson, who's all about that bass. Jill Watson, come stand next to me so I don't feel so lonely. All right. I was keeping her warm back. There. She was. She was. She's like, you poor thing. So sweet. So sweet. So these are the sachets, and uh, you ladies have been together for quite some time, haven't you? We have. We've been together for 10 years as a quartet performing all over town. Hopefully some of you have seen us. And uh, we're also part of the Grand Traverse Show Chorus, where I am the director. And I would like you to know if you guys are thinking, oh, we have a birthday party coming up or some special event. These are the ladies to invite. You don't necessarily even have to have them sing. They are just so much fun to be around. <laughs> Um, so you ladies have been together for 10 years, and I have to ask, like, in your daily lives when you go to work, do you all wear these outfits? <laughs> no, but whenever I'm performing and I wear my sparkles, they, everyone at work wants to know where I'm performing, so I think that's true for these mm -hmm. oh, yeah. women as well. I was just hoping, like, in my daydream that in your, in your waking life, you guys just all woke up and wore the same things every day. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> And we're all about the glitter, too, so. It's fun. It's good. It shows off your personalities. And you ladies have a few performances coming up. Is that right? We do. Uh, this coming Sunday, the first one coming up is Pure Acapella, which will be at Millican at 3 o'clock. And there are eight or nine different acapella groups performing, so you don't want to miss it. And tickets are not too much. They're, I think they're 10 or $12. So 3 o'clock at Millican. That's coming up this Sunday. We also, the chorus is having a big uh, afternoon tea on May 17th. That'll be fun at Kirkbride Hall. Um, you can check our Facebook page, uh, Sachet Quartet or Grand Traverse Show Chorus and get details on that. We are singing for a big event in Bel Air. Uh, it's a community event in, when is that, Cam? That's uh, on March 17th in the evening, 6 to 8. Okay. It's someday in March. <laughs> anyway, it's, for, it's at the area senior building, and it's for the community, and uh, it should be fun. We're singing for an hour and a half, so we're going to be singing everything we know. Singing your little hearts out. And all our jokes. <laughs> the jokes are great. I love the jokes. Uh, so I'm going to step aside, ladies, and uh, let you do a little moon dance, right? Sounds good. Thank all you. Right. Thank you. Da 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 da
Well, since this is, the, this is the last song of the last show of this season, we thought it would be appropriate to end with this beautiful, beautiful tune. It's called, What a Wonderful World. I see trees of green. Red roses too, I see them bloom for me and you. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. I see skies of blue. of white, the bright blessed day, and the dark sacred night, and I think to myself, what a wonderful world, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The colors of the rainbow, so pretty in the and all the happy faces of the people going by I see friends shaking hands Saying how do you do They're busy saying I love you so much more you or I are ever gonna know and I think to myself what a wonderful world what a wonderful wonderful
rainbow so pretty in the sky are also on the faces of people passing by i see friends shaking hands saying how do you do but they're really saying i love you I hear babies cry And I watch them grow They learn much more than I'll ever know And I think to myself What a wonderful world Yeah Think to myself, what a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful world. Thank you guys very much. That's Kevin Reeves, everybody. Thank you. Doesn't get much better than that, everyone. Another big round of applause. <laughs> Kevin Reeves, ladies and gentlemen. And it is a wonderful world indeed. And let me tell you, this is a great community. With me right now, I have Tom Paulson, the new City Opera House Development Director, as well as Matt Cowell, uh, Leah Program, program Coordinator. And um, what we want to get to, as you're sitting in your chairs going, why are you talking to these people, um, is the fact that you all have little baskets on your tables. And um, we just want to talk about the importance of the City Opera House and why we need to keep this City Opera House right here and in the heart of this community. And Tom Paulson, I just wanted to say, you guys always have something going on here at the City Opera House. Let's, let's talk about those things that make this community so great. It's true that there is always something going on here, literally year round. Next week, there will be uh, uh, hang on to this, it's a trio of films about fly fishing shown right here. And there are people who care a lot about that and they will come and see these films. But maybe you're one of them. Uh, and the week after that, the Reduced Shakespeare Company, which is a little bit about Shakespeare, but a lot about comedy and satire. And as you heard earlier in this program, uh, there will be artists on Thursdays in the summertime here and in August as well. It just keeps going on and on and on. There are guests from outside the community that come in. There are community members that present here as you've just seen in the last hour. And it all happens with support from the community. And one way that you can do an active part in keeping City Opera House alive and well here in Traverse City in Northern Michigan is to give to it. Go to cityoperahouse.org or you can give uh, any number of ways, walk in the front door as you have today. Absolutely, uh, thank you, Tom. And um, as Tom was saying, I also have with me Matt Cowell from Leah. And um, Up North TV is a part of Leah, and um, that's why you guys are all here right now. This is being televised live on air, and you're getting to see it for free here live at the City Opera House. And how have these two organizations kind of come together, and what is the importance of that within this community? Well, I, we've talked about it before. I just think it's an incredible showcase for all kinds of local talent, from the technical talent that puts the production on to all the fantastic performances, right down to martial artists uh, that we got to enjoy this week. So I'm, I'm very, frankly, sad that this is the last episode of season three. Uh, by a round of applause, you, you think we're ready for a season four? <laughs> fantastic. Absolutely. Fantastic. So... Uh, until season four comes back uh, next year, I, I want to say this keeps going. Uh, there's, there's always something happening at City Opera House. There's always something happening with the Up North Media Center. So come on down and visit these great community resources and, and become a part of them. And, and maybe we'll see you behind one of these cameras for season four. Absolutely. Another round of applause. 
One more thing, I'm gonna excuse these guys and we're gonna get some other people on the stage, but while I'm here, real quick, remember guys, this cannot happen without you, please. As you sit in those chairs today, realize this is our last picnic at the Opera Thank and we need you. you to give and give generously to the City Opera House. Thank you so much. Thank you everyone at the City Opera House and all the people volunteering their time to Up North Media. Thank you pianist Kevin Reeves. White Tiger Martial Arts. Oil painter Sherry McNamara. Anne-Marie Oman. Thank you Sachet. Vangie's Pizza for putting food in our bellies. Thank you to Relish for my beautiful dress and keeping us so well dressed. And thank you my employer WTCM Radio. Thank you Laytronics. And thank you NM NMC. Thank you for providing the students to run the sound. They did such a wonderful job. And thank you, Patrick. And let's not forget the watershed Grand Trevor's Bay for providing artists each and every week. And thank you, Huntington Bank. We couldn't do it without you. Thank you. And don't forget to be a part of Up North T TV channel 189. And you can also see them at upnorthmedia.org. All right. Maybe we'll see you next year, right? Huh? Have a good one. Woo -woo. Thank you. One more time for everybody. Come on. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day. Watch out for the ninjas. <laughs>